KLAS is celebrating 70 years of service to you, our viewers here in Southern Nevada. Today, we are owned by Nexstar Media, the largest television group in the country, but that hasn't always been the case. No, it has. In fact, for a while, the station was kind of largely on its own. But tonight, Brian Loftus tells us about our most famous owner. That's eccentric billionaire Howard Hughes. The story of Howard Hughes in KLAS starts with the greenhouse in our parking lot, which we call the Hughes House. It was the billionaire's crash pad for about eight months in 1953. The same year, a fledgling TV station named KLAS became the first one in Nevada. He flew experimental planes over the desert and wooed starlets and showgirls all over town. Hughes had it hermetically sealed when he left town in 1954, and it wasn't reopened until the frantic search for his will after his death in 1976. This railroad crossing in North Las Vegas is the exact spot where Howard Hughes returned and started his Nevada spending spree. He arrived on a special train Thanksgiving night 1966 and changed Las Vegas forever. In a four-year period in the late 60s, Hughes spent close to $300 million in Las Vegas, according to his biographer, Jeff Schumacher. He had money to spend and he was looking for a small pond in which to spend it. He wanted to own a state. He basically wanted to take over Nevada. When the owner of the Desert Inn Hotel, Mo Daylitz, asked Hughes to vacate the top floors rather than move, Hughes plunked down $13 million and bought the DI. Then he bought five more casino properties and somehow obtained a gaming license without ever appearing in public. And that today is the model. It's corporate ownership of multiple properties and in so doing that was one of the major uh, forces that helped to push the mob out of town and legitimize Las Vegas. Former Channel 8 anchorman Tom Warden later went on to work for Hughes namesake company which took 25,000 acres of raw land Hughes had bought far out in the desert and turned it into Summerlin, one of the country's most successful master plan communities. Like many Hughes acquisitions, the purchase of KLAS TV was more of a whim than a strategic decision. One of the reasons he bought the station was that he wanted to see the movie Bullet. The Steve McQueen movie, the big chase scene through the streets of San Francisco. The tale is a legend in the halls of Channel 8. Hughes, who had been a major figure in Hollywood as a director and producer, loved movies but would often fall asleep in his hotel suite while watching films that were airing on KLAS. He would then place late night calls to station owner Hank Greenspun to pester Greenspun into restarting the movie just for one viewer. Exasperated after a while, Greenspun eventually suggested that Hugh simply buy the station. So he did. Watching movies was a big deal, so that obviously was the primary reason. I mean, the guy, as you said, purchased a network broadcast facility for a VCR, or in today's parlance, Netflix, right? And yes, when he became the owner, he ordered the station to restart movies so he could watch the parts he had missed. Hughes invested hundreds of thousands of dollars into KLAS and turned it into a state-of-the-art broadcast facility. At one point, he reportedly wanted to build the studio on wheels so the station could be portable. Instead, KLAS has always been on a solid foundation, and its roots are very deep in the Southern Nevada community.